Okay, so we're looking at this missing percentages grid, and it's basically just using shortcuts or what we know about a scale factor to figure out different percents of numbers. And I'm skipping to number six, and I just folded my paper so that it was an easy um, thing to look at. So number six only tells me what, ooh, what two and a half percent is. And two and a half percent is eight. So then I have to work backwards and think about, okay, if I know two and a half, I can figure out five. And doing the opposite of dividing by two would be multiplying by two. So I need to do eight times two, which is going to give me 16. Now let's see. I know 5%, and I'm going to go, I'm going to do 5 to 10%. And I know that from 5 going to 10 is just times 2. So that means this can also be multiplied by 2. And that's 32. That's my 10%. 10% 10 to 20% is times 2. So 32 times 2 is 64. Let's see, what else can I do here? If I added those together, it would be 30%. Okay, let's see. Let's go from 10% to 50 because that's super easy. 10 to 50 is times 5, which means it's 32 times 5. For this one, I'm going to pull to the side. 32 times 5 is 10, 15, 160. So 160 is my 50%. Because I know 50%, I can double that to get 100%. So this doubled is... 320 and 50% to 25% I'm reminded is divided by 2 so half of 16 is 8 so half of 160 is 80 and remember all of these now are representations of portions of 320 so 50% of 320 is 160 25% of 320 is 80 I can add these two together to get my 75% so this is 240 because 160 plus 80 gives me 240. Uh, let's see, these are the ones here at the end. So 15%, I can take my 10% value and add my 5% value to it. So here's my 10% and here's my 5%, 6, 7, 8, that's 48. 48 is my 15%. So then now to find my 17 and a half, all I have to do is add these two together. So 8 and 8 is 16, carry the 1 is 56. That's my 17 and a half percent. I like 90 percent because it's one of the easier ones. All I can do, or all I have to do is take my 10 percent answer and multiply by 9. So my 10 percent answer is 32. So 32 times 9 is what I will be doing here. Pulling to the side. 18287288 is my 90%, and that makes sense because it is just a little less than 320. Almost finished. 150%. The reminder here says 100% plus 50%. So I can take these two and add them together. That's going to be 320 plus 160. So I'm pulling to the side to do that. 678480. And the last one is my 100% plus 10%. Mm -hmm. So 100% is 320 plus 32. That's 2. 320 plus 32. That's 2. 3, 4, 5, and 3. 3 352 for 110%. So as long as you keep in mind the shortcuts that we've added to the top here, finding each percent um, of a number is going to be really simple.